Capricorn, welcome to your mid-September 2022 general tarot update. It's Raina here. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what's going on here. When I pick cards, I'm looking at them individually, but I'm not usually formulating any backstory. The heart of the matter is the Ten of Cups. This is happily ever after. You see that sun, even though it's not yellow, it's a purple color. And you see the person hugging their significant other, I would assume. And this, this is a card of marriage and also, the family being harmonious. Um, so something, it's like all's well that ends well. Number 10 is the end of a cycle, but it's like the cycle of fulfillment. So the 9 is the wish fulfillment, and then the 10, I'm talking about the 9 of cups, and then the 10 is the aftermath of that. What does that, how does that leave the person? The person feels completed you know like that cheesy line in jerry Maguire. in the past position we have the two of torches which is the two of wands you can see the person is looking almost like uh there's a fork in the road wands can be career moves so um an example would be choosing a new career and having a sense of the the life improving to the point where um, it's affecting other members of the family. You're not as grumpy. You have more time for loved ones. You know, you don't feel as stretched. And that can be very uh, a very good um, benefit for all the other members of the family. And if we look at it from the higher perspective, it's interesting. Um, this card is associated with Virgo, but you see that planet. What planet is that? That's Saturn. That's your ruler. So this is a card for Virgo, but then you see Saturn. It's um, This is about soul searching. A person feels like they have to go within to find the answers. Maybe uh, that person has been consulting experts, outer authorities, their friends or family. And finally, they have to do what makes them happy. And I definitely believe that that is what we should always be doing. Well, not always. I mean, sometimes when you're on the spiritual path, it's really great to read books by famous yogis or people that have, um, you know, had these amazing stories that you want to be inspired by. I mean, that's that's wonderful, but it's an, it's the path of the individual. It's always an individual path, and we have individual experiences in life. Nobody's life can be compared to another person's. Even if there are some similarities, there are always going to be differences. And uh, we use other people for inspiration, not as imitation. And um, But the, the hermit, too, to me, is about solitude. And I feel like Capricorns can be in solitude for sure. But it's about tuning out the outer noise in general, but also the voices of other people. Because when you ask somebody, hey, what do you think I should do? That person is going to think, well, if it were me, I would do this. Well, that person isn't you. Um, so it's very important to begin to trust your instinct, intuition, higher self, whatever you want to call it. 
Well, cross is used the Princess of Pentacles, which connects to the Page of Pentacles. Um, the Page of Pentacles can be the student. So I think with Capricorn, if I, if I just want to riff off of that specifically, um, Capricorn is a sign that believes in tradition. So if Capricorn is going to do something, they're going to typically do something according to the book. Uh, so I think of something like astrology. And if you have a Capricorn who's an aspiring astrologer, they may, um, or even somebody, they could be a Sag or a Pisces, or I mean, not, not a Pisces, uh, an Aquarius who has the Mercury in Capricorn. And chances are uh, they will be really um, hooked into this idea of I have to, you know, go to an accredited program, you know, all the, or what, you know, whatever, I have to get a diploma, you know, you have to have your credentials so that you can be legit. And I'm not saying that that can't be a good experience for anybody or that going to the university isn't, I went back to college when I was in my thirties and I got a bachelor's degree. But the funny thing is, years later, I look back on that experience and I think, you know what? I was really wise when I was in my 20s, <laughs> uh, you know, by not caring about getting a college degree. I got sucked into the world based on, you know, working with other people and seeing them get ahead because they had uh, that under their belt and me feeling like it was keeping me back not to get it. But that's all uh, situational. It doesn't mean that that's going to benefit you. And as a matter of fact, when I did end up getting that degree, it was at a time when everything crashed. So it, that, you know, having a degree actually became a liability at that point because they wanted to pay the least amount of money. They didn't want somebody that they had to pay more. So it's, it's one of those things. And I was thinking to myself at that time, oh yeah, well, there you go. But it, it's okay because I had great experiences regardless. And being older, I was able to appreciate the whole experience more. But it just is something that for some of you, if you're trying to uh, do something and you have a new aspiration that the Two of Torches or Wands represents, that you are... Uh, looking at it from all angles that you don't just fall in line with what is said and you can still choose to to go that route but it it's showing that um there's some kind of it's keeping you from something else now obviously this is a general reading and nobody should base their life on a tarot reading on youtube or even a tarot private tarot reading you have to use your intuition on what to do in life also, if you have been expecting some money, uh, this may be delayed. Maybe it's the, you know what it could be too, is the uh, Mercury retrograde because it is going to go back into an earth sign, which is connected to pentacles, and that is Virgo. So um, maybe you are waiting. Yeah, and that, that does um, affect your ninth house, which is higher education. So if that if that is something where you have, uh, been hoping to maybe get um, some kind of money for, for something. It may not be like through a university. It may be teaching yoga, getting some kind of teacher's assistance. Don't be uh, discouraged if you get turned down at first. It might be because of Mercury retrograde and that you will be able to rectify that situation within the next month. Um, but also, um, any kind of new work situations, um, may take a little bit of time to get started. If this is your own business that you have started, um, don't expect everything to just happen overnight. When somebody is first starting, um, something like a business, they can get like pretty unrealistic ideas. 
maybe they just see something on YouTube and people just say, oh, wow, you know, this happened for me right away. Maybe there are some people that are lucky enough where everything gels right away. But it does, it definitely doesn't always work out that way. And so being, being patient, you know, that's what the seven of pentacles is about, um, is very important. What's coming in is the empress. This is, you can see, this is connected to mother energy. So sometimes this can be a woman who's expecting, this could be a pregnancy, or if it's a man, maybe his woman is pregnant. This can be your actual mother or the person you most regard as a motherly figure in your life. And this person may be um, someone who is helping you in some way. Also, the Empress can be about, um, I feel like, nurturing your own dreams. Uh, this is a card of abundance. Uh, it's um, the number three is also a card of abundance and creativity. So your baby could be your, um, you know, creative projects and nurturing them. So that's what I think too about the 10 of cups is like, you know, maybe you're starting something that has that kind of theme to it that is creative and you are um, going to, to establish yourself. You know, the 10 is that sense of generations, the family. And um, it for, for a, a Capricorn person, it may not be something that is very easy for you to do because you tend to be more uh, connected to the the material side of life and the creative side you may say oh that's my hobby or something like that when in fact it's something that uh, you may have a lot of talent in and you could have great success and sure enough the outcome is the Four of Pentacles, which is a card of um, somebody who's managing their money very well. So if you are in between jobs and you're trying to establish yourself as a business, it could be having the material security to be able to do so. If this is something to do with... Um, well, I'm thinking of in terms of any kind of new job aspiration or career aspiration. It could be saying, yeah, you have the goods. You have what it takes to make it happen. So definitely go for it. So that's what I have for you, uh, Capricorn. I hope that that resonated. If you would like a private reading... I'm promoting my double readings that are astrologically based, a, an hour of natal chart interpretations, an hour of transits for a special price. I also have a tarot reading and a combination with the natal chart. Um, both of those are, are um, specially priced. And then I have single readings. You can find out more information at the link below. I'm at rainamoonastrology.com. Take care. Bye.